We are getting very close to one of the most anticipated space events this year, the SpaceX Polaris Dawn Spacewalk. Not only is it the first private spacewalk mission, but it also has many other awaited things, especially the debut of the SpaceX Evia suit. The technological advances in the Evia suit are what everyone often talks about. But I want to tell you that this suit is also shocking to the aerospace community and other aspects, its crazy speed of development. So in this episode of TechMap, let's find out how fast the SpaceX Polaris Dawn spacesuit has been developed, how it's better than other spacesuits, and what its future potential will be. The spacesuit is an indispensable part of any space mission. Mentioning the spacesuits, we will probably remember NASA's pumpkin suit with the bulky and complex design, causing difficulty for astronauts in movement. But all those old concepts will soon change when the SpaceX EVA suit or the extravehicular activity suit is released in the coming time. That is what makes this spacewalk mission much more attractive than previous similar ones. Production of this new spacesuit was planned after Jared Isaacman, CEO of Shift 4 and a member of the Inspiration 4 mission that took place in September 2021, proposed the Polaris Dawn mission. Isaacman initially planned to conduct this mission in February 2022. But that was probably too urgent for SpaceX to prepare the new spacesuit and necessary systems for the spacewalk mission. Uh, we've got uh, this year our first spacewalk, so we've got to redesign the, the suit. This Elon Musk statement in a recent presentation at Starbase perhaps explained why Polaris Dawn has been postponed for more than two years. During this period, SpaceX rarely disclosed the spacesuit production progress, making people feel very skeptical about it. But recently, Isaacman gave positive confirmation about the EV a suit production progress. The reality is that SpaceX's pace of development on building an EV a suit is wicked fast right now. In fact, this is not the first time Isaac Mann has made positive comments about SpaceX's spacesuit production progress. In September 2022, he also tweeted, not correct. What the SpaceX team is accomplishing with the new EVIA suits is really incredible, worthy of a documentary in its own right. Or in his December 2023 tweet, he also said, SpaceX engineers are doing an outstanding job tackling big problems very quickly. According to Isaac Mann, developing an EV a suit for Polaris Dawn will be unlike other suits. Regarding materials, it is designed with polyethylene, a durable material that helps prevent dangerous radiation rays, as well as impacts from space. In particular, SpaceX will focus a lot on upgrading mobility and dexterity, the biggest limitation of previous spacesuits. Besides, the suit also has many outstanding characteristics like more safety features, redundant oxygen circuits, insulation, cooling, and greater visibility. By the end of last year, Isaacman also mentioned more new features on this suit, including life support redundancy, sun glare, resiliency to MMOD micrometeoroids and orbital debris, as well as another less mentioned system, the laser-based communication system through the Starlink constellation. Most recently, he also updated some interesting new details about the suit, like no airlock and heavier and bulkier than the Ivia suits because it serves a different purpose compared to the past. It can be said that these systems are very complicated and take a lot of time to complete. For many organizations, two years is probably not enough for them to solve all those problems. But as Isaac Mann continuously posts positive updates, we can see how well SpaceX's spacesuit production system works when faced with one of the most difficult spacesuit production tasks to date. In December, Isaacman confirmed overall progress was 70% complete since its beginning two years ago. We're in February, so progress is probably close to 90% now. In a tweet on January 27, Isaacman said they are getting much closer. The current work is mainly training and conducting qualification and acceptance tests on hardware. Everything will soon be completed to be ready for the current schedule set for April this year, and we will also see official images of this suit soon in advance of the flight. It can be said that the rapid development of the EVA suit is showing SpaceX's superiority to other organizations in this aspect, including NASA. Before going any further, if you find this information useful, remember to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. And now, let's go back to today's episode. Perhaps you still remember that in 2021, NASA faced a lot of problems in producing the next generation spacesuit. 
Their spacesuit development costs at that time reached more than $1 billion after they had wasted too much time on three different spacesuit programs since 2007. NASA even said they could not produce spacesuits on time for the moon landing in 2024, and the most feasible goal for them is until at least April 2025. After that, Elon Musk posted a tweet SpaceX could do it if need be. Clearly, he has a basis for such confidence because just a year ago, SpaceX released the IVA suit used in the first crewed Dragon mission to the ISS. That really created a big change in spacesuit design. This is truly a humiliation to an agency that has decades of experience in the aerospace industry. Don't forget that NASA reached the moon and participated in many other missions like building the ISS or conducting many spacewalks. Skipping the time before 2021, only with the period from 2021 onward, NASA was not confident that they could finish producing the spacesuit before April 2025. Based on that, the two years that SpaceX spent on the EVA suit are much shorter than NASA's. Not only slower, but NASA's suit has many disadvantages compared to SpaceX's. The biggest difference is that NASA's suits are often heavy due to many bulky systems and poor internal pressure control systems, making it difficult for astronauts to move flexibly, which Elon Musk described as a balloon at a party. This not only affects the astronauts' physical health, but also reduces performance during each mission. But we all know that NASA did not choose SpaceX. Instead, they chose two other companies, Axiom Space and Collins Aerospace, to design a spacesuit for the lunar mission. In September 2022, Axiom Space was awarded a $228.5 million contract from NASA to develop a suit for Artemis III. On January 22, Axiom Space said it would take critical design reviews in June. Honestly, Axiom Space also did its task well, and it was much more effective than what NASA did before. However, the Axiom Space suit still has many problems that still need to improve. In the revealed image, we still see that this spacesuit looks quite bulky and has low flexibility if compared to SpaceX's. Of course, we still need to wait for official tests to determine this more clearly. In addition, this suit does not have a long-term future development. It was only been confirmed for use in Artemis III while their crewed missions remain dependent on SpaceX. That's why the future potential of the Axiom Space spacesuit is quite limited. In contrast, the SpaceX EVA suit has much greater development potential not only serving the upcoming spacewalk mission, but also for the Moon or Mars mission. This was shown in the presentation on January 12, when Elon Musk also set a goal of producing up to 1 million spacesuits for the Mars colonization mission. With that potential, it can be seen that two years of development is still too short and extremely deserved if the EVA suit can prove its capabilities. And it's coming. The moment when astronauts led by Jared Isaacman will wear EVA suits produced by SpaceX engineers. They will enter a journey that many people dream of, walking in space. Every step they take will be a step forward for humanity, in which the armor that SpaceX equips them will demonstrate their great role. There are many things that the SpaceX and Polaris Dawn teams need to overcome, but it will be memorable moments about the periods they work day and night to create a great masterpiece, the EVA suit. In December 2023, Polaris Dawn's commander fired the space community up with a little bit of sharing about new SpaceX EVA suits serving the Polaris Dawn program. According to Jared Isaacman tweet, the suit was in the evolution stage and its image would be released before the mission, but he did not know when. Polaris Dawn is a planned private human spaceflight mission operated by SpaceX on behalf of Shift 4 Payments CEO Jared Isaacman. The flight will be using a Crew Dragon capsule and is the first of three planned missions in the Polaris program. It was initially scheduled for launch in early 2022, but the challenges in developing the EVA suit and modifications to the Crew Dragon slipped the flight to April 2024, nearly a year and a half behind the original plan. However, Jared Isaacman's sharing by then is simply the announcement about the suit development's progress. This turns out to be a good opportunity for the space community to show off its creativity to answer the question of what SpaceX's first EVA suit will actually look like. And boom! One month later, the most weighted render of the suit is released by SpaceX. Uh, we've got uh, this year our first spacewalk. So we've got to redesign the, the suit so that uh, you can actually move around in it and you don't just like, you know, pop out like... <laughs> 
At a glance, we can see there is not much difference between the IVA and EVA suits of SpaceX. It still appears to be a one-piece suit, featuring white tones and a simple, streamlined design. Most notably, SpaceX still prioritizes astronaut comfort. Because if you just inflate the suit, you know, you're just basically, you know, you're kind of like one of those, like, uh, balloons at a party or something, you know. So it's, it's quite hard to make the, to still be mobile in an inflated suit um, and um, ha have the joints move and stuff. And This is truly the game changer that helps modern spacesuits far beyond traditional spacesuits. Referring to NASA's traditional spacesuits, the general feeling astronauts might describe it as heavy, bulky, and quite warm. But the suit itself is not the only thing contributing to astronaut non-comfort. Yes, it's true. When in the inflated state, the suit looks like a balloon, it resists being deformed and wants to spring back to its original shape. Any movement you make is always working against the internal pressure of the suit. Over time, this becomes very tiring. Next, before going any further, if you found this information useful, remember to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. And now, let's go back to today's episode. With the development of the EVA suit, Elon Musk seems to want to expand the scope of application of the suit beyond the Polaris Dawn framework. To be honest, the first destination he aimed for was the moon. Back in August 2021, NASA's Inspector General indicated that delays in spacesuit development were contributing to making a 2024 astronaut moon landing under Artemis impossible. Not that enough, the suits would cost the budget a huge amount of money, up to $1 billion. Immediately, Elon Musk replied, SpaceX could do it if need be. At that time, astronauts on board the International Space Station used spacesuits designed 45 years ago for the Space Shuttle program. Those spacesuits have been refurbished and partially redesigned over the past decades to continue working. Because it is outdated, the space agency wants to find a replacement version through three different spacesuit programs starting in 2007. The spacesuits have a multitude of different components, which the Inspector General noted are supplied by 27 different companies. That's a point Musk also highlighted, saying in a tweet that it seems like too many cooks in the kitchen. It might be the motivation for SpaceX to simplify its spacesuits. Afterward, although the contract to develop the Artemis spacesuit was awarded to Axiom Space, this could not let Elon Musk down. In fact, he continues silently his plans to create a type of spacesuit that is simple and lightweight but not less efficient. More notably, SpaceX's EVA suit promises to be even more state-of-the-art when able to withstand environments with high radiation levels. You know, the Van Allen belts where Dragon Crew capsule will reach in April exist on the border of Earth's magnetic field at an altitude of 700 kilometers above sea level. In the Van Allen belts, the average radiation dose rate for a satellite is about 50 sievert per year. If a human astronaut had the same shielding as a satellite and required one hour to travel through the Van Allen belts for one hour of exposure in the spacecraft, this equals a total dose of 6 millisieverts. Meanwhile, on the Moon, Astronauts in a spacesuit would be exposed to much lower, around 0.06 millisieverts of radiation every hour. Surprisingly, because Mars has a thin protective atmosphere that the Moon does not have, astronauts would receive a lower average radiation dose of about 0.7 millisieverts per day. Based on the above calculation, we can see clearly Musk's timeless vision in developing the EVA suit. Under Polaris Dawn, the crew will conduct some scientific research, one of which involves a better understanding of how space radiation affects human biological systems. The gathered data will be the premise for a scalable design for spacesuits on future long-duration missions, such as building a base on the Moon and a city on Mars. To put it simply, if SpaceX's suit can endure a dangerous place like Van Allen, then radiation on the Moon or Mars won't be a problem for them. 
In addition, once the EVA suit becomes operational, it would also be very useful for astronomical missions, especially NASA's Hubble Telescope Rescue Mission. Maybe you know that on November 29th, NASA announced that their Hubble was in a safe mode again. Unlike the previous rescue missions, NASA this time hits the constraint in budget, so they have to call for help from private companies, specifically SpaceX. On September 22, 2022, an unfunded Space Act agreement was signed between NASA and SpaceX to investigate the viability of a SpaceX and Polaris program to push Hubble into a higher orbit. Jared Isaacman, Polaris Dawn's commander, suggested that a Hubble mission could be the second of three planned Polaris missions. In detail, Isaacman pointed out that such a mission would give Hubble a decade of extra life and provide an opportunity in the future to remove the telescope from orbit using Starship and deliver it to Earth for placement in a museum. He also raised the possibility of repairing the telescope. This could require an intricate spacewalk similar to that performed by the Space Shuttle Rescue Mission known as STS-61 in 1993 to repair and restore the Hubble Space Telescope. Although Isaac Mann's idea met with quite a bit of controversy regarding the technical limitations of both Dragon and the suit, he at least offered NASA another solution to save their aging telescope. More importantly, the space agency may not pay any dollars for this, and that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.